NBA Top Shot is one of the hottest things out in the NFT world right now. In its simplest form, it is an online forum for trading cards. But instead of trading cards, you collect video clips. Each clip has a limited supply, which is one of the factors that go into how valuable they are. Some LeBron James moments are going for as high as $250,000 for a clip. And as you can see here, some people have turned a few thousand dollars into millions of dollars. So do you like basketball? Do you like money? Then I think I found the thing for you. Hey, what's up, Jay here, and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to put it all together and help you get to that next level. So if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to smash the like and turn on that notification bell. So today we're talking about NBA Top Shot, which is the hottest thing currently around. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is my first organic experience on this website when I finally got my first drop. I was able to enter the queue, get a drop, and actually buy the cards. At the time, I had done zero research on this other than what I had heard from people, so I had no idea what I was doing, what was going on, what to expect. I had zero knowledge, which is probably where you're at right now. So first, we're gonna watch that clip as I open up those cards, and then we're gonna jump into the tutorial after I did the research behind everything and understood how everything worked and then I'll give you guys a breakdown on exactly how the site works, you know, how you can see the value for the, your cards and why they're valuable, right? And how, how you can get into the marketplace and flip cards, buy them for cheaper and sell them for more. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, guys, so I finally, after spending a few hours in line for this drop it's called the cool cats drop i guess it's drop number three i finally was able to get actually a pack this is the first time that i'm able to get a pack um i had to basically queue myself in line at nba top shot dot com i got a notification that this drop was coming and then i queued myself and uh, i was able to get a spot in line and then waited like two hours basically maybe an hour or an hour two hours something like that and now i finally got a pack so it asked me for my payment and i just paid and now it gave me the pack so this is the first time i do this i've never opened any of these packs i've never bought any of these packs this is officially my first nft purchase so i have no idea what to even expect i don't even know how this works but we're gonna learn together so um i'm recording this video before i've even recorded any of the other videos let's jump right in let's see what happens i'm kind of excited let's see open pack Okay, it has music and everything. Okay. DeAndre Hunter. Okay, cool. <laughs> Larry Nance. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so I muted it because that music is really loud. Yeah, so that's some crazy music as you uh, open the, the cards here. So let's take a look at this one. Donovan Mitchell dunk. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that's a nice dunk. That's a nice dunk. He went all the way back. He cocked back behind his head. Look at that. PJ Tucker that just got traded. So that has a little description and everything. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool three-pointer okay it's it's kind of cool you know let's see the last one dunk there you go dunks are my favorite ones rj barrett oh something cool something cool ah uh, that was kind of whack kind of whack rj come on give me a 360 between the legs something but all right so now <clears throat> let's figure out what happens here because i have no idea i've again never done any of this so view my progress 
Notable pull is this one. Yeah, this is a nasty dunk. Packs open, 101. Moments pulled, 5. Level up your baller status, 40 out of 50. I don't really know what that means. I'm learning as I do this. Let's see what where this takes me. I don't know. I just hit that button. Okay, so what do I need? Customize your username. Change your username to something balling. Okay, so I got to customize my username. What the heck is thankful Incaberries? Incaber... What? I don't even know what that means. All right, so let's do Bitcoin daily. Hopefully nobody has taken my username. Save changes. All right, I did it. Sign in again. What? Can I buy again? Does it let me buy again? How many times can I buy? Let's see what happens if I try to buy again. All right, I guess I can't buy again. It was worth a shot. Let's see what people are selling these for. How much are they selling these for? Lowest ask, $9. Top sell, $4,000. See, like, that's so weird. Recent sales. Bro, somebody sold this for $4,000? Oh, but that's whack. I cannot believe that somebody sold this for four grand, March 11th. So it's the 22nd. March 11th, somebody sold this for $4,000. March 20th, somebody sold it for $1,250. Yo, I want to sell it for $1,252. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just, I think I'm gonna just hold it because all of these people just got the card as well, the 22nd, right? All right, so I'm gonna just hold on to this and try to figure out once the marketplace opens, marketplace is disabled. So once it opens, then we're gonna look back and try to figure out, I'm gonna do some research as well and try to figure out exactly what am I doing? <laughs> what do I do with these cards? Let's go to some of the other cards and see what they're selling for. 1,072 for sale. The same thing, the low, they're selling for like $13 and the top sale is like $3,000. That's crazy to me. Let's check the next one. They all have a lot of sellers, see? It looks like they all kind of are the same. 1400 available. So oh, this one's actually cost more because it's, I guess, because it's Donovan Mitchell. So the lowest ask on this one is $17. This card has sold for almost $11,000. Dude, somebody sold this card for almost 11 grand. But most of these, look at these, these are all for $16 and $17 is what everybody's selling it for. So, I mean, that, that'll give me my money back and RJ. Is nobody selling RJ? All right, guys. So I have now done a little bit more research on NBA Top Shot. And I could bring to you some more education on this um, as I've been getting educated on it as well. So when pulling packs, there's three main things that you need to look at that will give different moments different prices so one of the main thing is a common card right you will see here that you have a serial number it says common serial number and then you have this number here which is 6048 and then it says 35,000 plus cc so what this means is that this is a common card right it's the 6048th card that was minted which means that it was created it was a 6048 that was created of this exact moment out of 35,000 plus so that means that there's over 35,000 possible people or moments just like this one and then at the end cc means circulating count so that means account may change more of these cards may get minted again so because of that the value of these cards which is this one this one this one and this one right these four here are all cc they all have thirty-five thousand plus and they're all as you can see common cards and base sets so the value of these are not going to be as expensive or as high as for example this card this is the rj barrett card so now what differentiates this rj barrett card from these right so first off this is a cool cats as you can see here you can see here that says base set series two right so that's what it is these are the base sets series two cards these are base set base set base set you see all of these are base set series two cards this one is a cool cats series two cards so it's a different set of moments right then the next thing that you'll look at is it does have common right so it's a common card from the cool cats base set i mean not base set from the cool cats set it was a 12th thousands card minted 
out of 15,000. So that means that this card was 12,033, which is a really high number. So it, it that takes away from its value, right? Usually you want a lower number. The lower this, this number, the higher the value of the moment. Then next, you see here it says 15,000. These say 35,000. So because this has less cards, now this this card becomes more valuable because there's more scarcity. So because this, this moment is more scarce, therefore it is more valuable. Then last, LE. So LE stands for limited edition. Count is final. So that means that while these are CC, circulating count, count may change, which means that they might add more to this number. This is limited edition count is final. That means that there can never be another replica of the same moment created ever again out of these 15,000. So if I go ahead and click on this and I go for sale, now you can see that the lowest asking price for this RJ Barrett card is $99. So that means that this card, this moment right here that I'm currently holding is worth $99. I could sell it right now for $99. So I could probably sell it for more. If you look at recent sales, you see that the highest sell so far was for $2,222. But that was, look at the serial number. It was the number two created card. So that means whoever has a number one card could sell it for even more, right? You see here, the 29th card was sold for 550. The 30th was for 500. And I remember I have, what, what number is my card? I think my card, I think I had like 12,000, right? So let's look at someone that has the same serial as me. This one, look at this one, 12,911. So this is worth worse than my card, right? It was minted after mine and it sold for $98. This one's 14,000 sold for $98, $99. I'm sorry. So yeah, those are the two that are worse. They're, they're further back minted than mine and they sold for basically a hundred dollars each. So what I'm thinking of possibly doing is selling this card just to go through the process and see what it's like for you guys. Let's let's actually take a look real quick before we do that. So this is a website called um, evaluate.market where they basically give you an idea of what your account value is worth depending on what cards you have. And it tells you and it, it gives you this guesstimate depending on what the lowest ask for each card is. So if you look here, these are the remember I bought one pack for $14, one pack for $14, my account is worth $140, right? That's crazy, that's a 10X return, right? So if you go down, you can see which cards I have and what their lowest asking price for each of those cards is. So for example, PJ Tucker, the lowest asking is $9. So that means that if I put it right now for $9, I could probably sell it. Uh, Larry Nance Jr., also $9. DeAndre Hunter, $10, Donovan Mitchell, $13. And then finally, my precious <laughs> RJ Barrett, $99. So RJ Barrett is my most valuable moment that I currently have. It's part of the Cool Cats set and it's a limited edition. The lowest asking price currently is $99 for this one moment. And you can see now because of that, it makes my account value for my account right now is $140. So I spent $14 on these cards and basically a profit of a um, hundred and some change. <laughs> and of course, that's nothing guys. If you go to um, account values here, if you take my name off, let me see, I'm trying to reset it here. And you look at the top people on the leaderboards, look at these numbers. Total moment valuation, this guy has $43 million. His account is worth $43 million. Total purchase price, $3,298. Market profit loss, $43 million. So this guy must have got in super early. It had to be, I would imagine, somebody from the team here because it's ridiculous. They spent $3,000, $3,300 on packs and cards and their account is now worth $43 million. So they for sure, they have 9,500 cards. So they for sure work for the team or something because it's just, it's it's such a big difference. Look at this guy here, Alzo, whatever his name is. He has spent $233,000 on his 
uh, holdings and now they're worth $15 million. So that's a lot more realistic uh, as far as what you can expect. And that's a, that's a $6,000 return. I mean, 6,000% return. This guy spent 50,000. This guy spent 60,000. This guy again spent 239,000 for all those cards. This guy here, look at this guy. This guy spent $748,000 on his cards to have the same amount of cards that this guy has. 9,500, right? This guy has 9,500. He spent almost a million dollars. Um, but now his valuation is 10 million. So if you go through here, you're going to see some people have spent over one million dollars on this to just be on this leaderboard right so you kind of have to spend money to be on here if you want to be on the leaderboard you see his his account value is currently at nine million dollars so he's got a 800 percent return on his one million dollar investment he has over ten thousand cards look at this guy he has twenty six thousand cards so a lot of these people you will see that they have a whole lot of money they've spent a whole lot of money I think it just goes down to how early you were um, in the process. Um, the earlier you were, you know, the cheaper these cards were worth at that time. So this guy just had to be one of the first people here, probably the one that was testing it or something. I don't know. All right. So as we continue to look at this card, this is a RJ Barrett card. You can see here, it tells you a lot of cool stuff here on this site. So you can see the lowest asking price is $99. It tells you the amount of in circulation there is, which is 15,000. Told you that it tells you the total market cap, which is the lowest ask times circulation. So it's currently at almost $1.5 million. You can see the amount of unique owners here, the total owned. So total owned is more than unique owners because owners could have multiples of the same card. Then the percentage impacts 14% of these cards have are still impacts and have still not been pulled. So that means that only 86% of the cards of the current circulation available has been owned to date. So right now there's 2,121 more of these cards that could that will eventually go into circulation but are not pulled yet so next on the top you have um community where you can see showcases challenges upcoming events find a collector you know you can see your the total fans for your, your favorite team uh rankings for leaderboards for your favorite team the blog and all that going over to collection this is basically where you have your moments so you have my moments there my packs so if you have any packs that you haven't opened, they'll be there. Uh, your showcase, so you can make a showcase with your favorite moments. Uh, your challenges, your active challenges that you haven't completed and your completed challenges. So that is pretty much it, guys. I think we touched on a little bit of everything as far as what Top Shot is, how it works, and how the system works, how the cards work, how the website works, all that. The only thing that we haven't done, uh, I even showed you the clip of me opening my first card when I had zero clue about what I was doing. Um, the only thing I haven't recorded is queuing up to get in line for a drop um, and in that process. So I'll do another video on that. And I'll keep updating you guys um, as I hopefully continue to build my account here uh, on Top Shot. As you guys know, I started out with my account around valued around 140, and currently it's valued around 191 dollars. As you can see, my RJ Barrett, that first card I got, uh, it's currently its lowest ask is 123 dollars now. And I did this on my own. Um, I bought a Bam Adebayo card for uh, 59 dollars. Lowest ask is 25, but I got a lower serial number for him, which is why I paid more for that. And I'm a Miami Heat fan, so that's why I got. Uh, the out of bio card but if you guys have enjoyed this video so far man uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel make sure that you smash that like button as well and turn on those post notifications so that you guys know as soon as we post these new videos we post videos five times a week mondays through fridays don't miss out all righty guys i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you on the next one as always peace and love